we get older, it's so much harder to organize family vacations when our siblings are married and have kids of their own. So this was actually the first vacation in almost six years that Charlie and I were able to get together with my siblings and my dad at the beach. So we definitely wanted to capture these moments and cherish these memories because you never know when it's gonna work out for everyone to all be together at the beach again. Welcome to Daytona Beach. We are staying here for a couple of days for the 4th of July. We made our booking through VRBO and originally we were not supposed to be staying at the Daytona Grand. We made a booking for the Club Wyndham next door and we were gonna have a room next to my dad and my sister. But because it was the 4th of July weekend, somehow our host got things confused and it looks like he booked us for 2025 instead of 2024. So we were like 15 minutes from Daytona and getting phone calls letting us know that we didn't actually have a room yet. But he was so amazing working behind the scenes to find us a room right next to Club Wyndham at the Daytona Grand Oceanfront Resort. My friend got me these awesome bath salts from Anthropology for my birthday and I haven't been able to use them yet. So we will definitely do that later. And my brother and sister-in-law and their son Ashton, they're staying in here. The great thing about us being at the Daytona Grand is that right next door was the Club Wyndham. So we were able to walk over to it and we were able to still use all of the pools there and meet up with my family, which was so sweet to see them playing at the kiddie pool the first night we got in. We ate dinner in their room and made so many fun memories. I was dancing around with my nieces so much that night. Were you in like the driveway McDonald's before you <laughs> <laughs> The sunlight through our window woke us up naturally in the most peaceful way that morning. It was actually really early, so we caught most of the sunrise. My brother and their son headed down to the pool a little bit earlier than we did and we just had a very quiet, peaceful morning eating breakfast and doing some reading with the ocean views in the back and we knew very soon the crowds were going to get pretty crazy. There's a lady with a full mermaid tail. I love it so much. Good for you. Fourth of July has begun. You can see over there, it's getting crazy. That's for you. some fun this morning at the pool and now we are going to go meet everybody at the beach and Charlie got a surfboard. I read it. So do you have a seat? Uh, and you have an A? Uh, 
So then you can add it to this word right here. C A T. Yes. <laughs> if I can get here with this, where are you at? All right. Now you used two letters, right, on your last term. So you need to draw two more letters out of the bag and put them on your board. Every time you use some letters, you draw more letters. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's take him so long. Are you done? <laughs> my nephew and I played Scrabble, and he was actually really good for being so young. He could make his own words. And then that night, we went over and had dinner with everybody before heading out for fireworks. The mental indicator, that's when it's supposed to hit the ground. Yeah. And we got Fourth of July dresses. No one else had the Fourth of July dress. I'm the only one. I know. Well, Raylan has <laughs> one. And Alyssa. Good morning, day two. Matt is working. Charlie and I are gonna go return the surfboard and check out some awesome surf shops and then we're gonna go to the pool again. Last night we got to see the fireworks, the younger nieces and nephews. Here's Ashton, um, Raylan and Emma were a little bit scared. We ended up finding a good spot on the pool deck and they were able to watch them without being like on the beach with them overhead, which was nice. I think that helped. Charlie surfed a little bit yesterday. He's got his surfboard back there. We are going to the shop to return it. So that surfboard, is it hard to use because it's like- Oh yeah. yeah. This is way small for me and it's full. So you have to, it's very good. It was good for the kids to learn. Yeah. Charlie was able to get up on three or four waves. Looked like he was having a lot of fun surfing and he even got to help our nephew Parker try a couple times. He had fun. There was quite an undercurrent riptide and we actually saw so many rescues. Some of them were really intense and had like seven or eight lifeguards in the water, a boat, a jet ski, just to rescue the people. These guys have a hard job and we were so thankful that they were there and everyone was rescued safely. We spent the rest of the afternoon at the pool and didn't get a whole lot of footage, but I did capture Charlie throwing our nieces into the pool over and over. They kept asking him and he just wanted them to have a great time, so he never said no, even though I know his arms had to have been getting tired. But they had a blast and then we had the most amazing dinner view. Charlie made us some steak and we just did some people watching. On our last day, it was just Charlie and I. The rest of the family had gone home early, so we woke up and had another slow morning, enjoying the views, and Charlie made me breakfast. I did my reading, and we just soaked up the last bit of these amazing views. You heading out? Yes. <laughs> okay. After we checked out, we went back and forth from the pool to the beach and we had an amazing setup where we just relaxed until about 6 p.m. when we made the drive home.